motorcycle is going to overtake me, so I'll make space for, for the guy. He's got the nail plate. It's a pizza delivery guy or some, some other delivery, okay? Good for him. Yeah, and another reason uh, why we cannot be happy, let's say, some people choose uh, not to be happy because they are stuck in traffic. And obviously, usually it's, it's not very good because it's not very productive time. You can't really focus on anything else when you drive. Uh, if, it, if you are completely stopped, then you can close your eyes and maybe visualize something good. But still, there are things you can do in the traffic. You can chill out, you can think about the conversations you're gonna have, you can plan your day, you can come up with bigger ideas, you can brainstorm, if you have a a headset you can um, uh, call someone and then have a conversation because in the UK it's illegal to hold your phone and have a conversation while driving um, use that so make phone calls uh, plan your day uh, brainstorm with someone or yourself ideas for today and for tomorrow um, there are lots of things you can do and then you could make it into a very productive day. You can sing a song to, to feel, to be happy. And whatever song comes to your, to your mind. It is raining. I am very happy. Blimey, there are really lots of songs you can sing to, to make you happy. And, and even if you are in a mood that you, you don't really want to be happy, you are unhappy and you're actually okay with it, that is okay, because every now and then we, we, we feel that we don't really want to be happy, we just want to kind of wind down, either be sad because something happened in our life and we want to experience this sadness, feel it, and it's absolutely fine. I'm not saying that you have to be happy, uh, that all, because anyway, it's impossible. It's impossible to be happy all the time. We humans are designed in a way that we need balance, we need both pleasure and pain, we, we need all sorts of feelings. And when they are balanced, it's only then when we feel good and our bodies feel good. So we need a bit of sadness, we need a bit of uh, cheerfulness, um, and then we derive happiness. And happiness, obviously, everybody understands in a different way. Many people understand happiness as being, you know, cheerful, which is not necessarily the case. But again, that de de depends how you define happiness for yourself. Uh, so how do you define happiness for yourself? Leave me. Um, the comments, in the comments, uh, or leave me some comments uh, describing how you define happiness, what happiness means to you and, and if you actually are aware that you, you can be happy being sad because being sad doesn't mean that you're not happy, you just experience happiness in sadness uh, if, you, if you know what I'm talking about, if you don't uh, next time you are sad, feel it Feel it and be happy because of the sadness you have. Because it's an incredible feeling, you know. If, if you start looking at that feeling, observing yourself, and uh, paying attention to everything about you, your mind, your thoughts, your feelings, while you are sad, you will see that it's a magnificent, um, actually, emotion. Um, you don't want to be sad for too long, obviously, uh, but it's a very good emotion. I like sadness every now and then, it's beautiful makes me realize that I'm human, what it means uh, for me to be human, and many other things. So really be cheerful that you are happy, uh, that uh, when you are sad, be cheerful because of that. Uh, that. That is a nice trick, right? Okay, we are approaching a crossroads where you can go to uh, Golders Green. So if, you t if I turned left here, uh, I would get to Golders Green. If I turned right, I would get to Hendon. This is still North London. <laughs>